I spoke highly of HOA, knowing that I wasn't getting a cut. But when it became more about HOA and selling overpriced hoodies, I said, hold on, bro. It ain't adding up. I ain't getting nothing. When did you make the decision? Was it when Reggie Wayne left? Nah, 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 nah. Because I trusted that B was going to look at everything, you know, broadly. And I kept requesting hard numbers. The, the one sheet that I got downstairs in the in the car, it was from March 11th of 2021. By that time, we started in April of 2020. We didn't have our first money talks until June of 2020. April, tw- I mean, March of 2021, they, they provided a one sheet. Right there on the one sheet, it shows where I had accrued 51,000 in, in sweat equity through talent fee. Okay. Right? So that's 50K they posted went back into the company, whatever that's bingo, worth. Bingo, bingo. Whatever that. And, that. and even on at that time, and I, I screenshot it, like if people, whatever. At that time, B put 100K in it. So your 50K right? versus 100K. Right, right. But you got to take 30% out because that's what he gave the producer who's on the pivot now, AZ. That's what she gave AZ's company. I mean, that's what he gave AZ's company to produce IAA. He gave her 30% oh, of the nut off the rip. So you said he, he didn't have 100%. 30. He had 70 to work with. So he had 70 to work with. Okay. If he got 70, right, he had less than 70 because he gave the attorney who I was just talking about. I found this out in that same meeting that day when I got the one sheet. She had 10%, right? A lot of shit he's doing right now came from our producer. With I Am NASCAR, with all of that shit, it came from our producer. Mm. She had the relationship. How you think her 30% came into play that she got asked out about? And I ain't going to get into her personal business because she got some shit going on. But a lot of stuff with the touring, the roadmap, every company got to have a roadmap, right? Even you yes. know us. Yes. We gotta have outlooks and projections, 100%. right? Uh people say, Why well, y'all ain't touring yet? We like year one, that went in the plan. Exactly. The tour. We'll get to it, but that went in the plans. But he had his run where he said they gonna copy this too. That was funny. Yeah, I but see. But that, that 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 came man, from man. what do you think that came from? It was a roadmap created from our people when we was together over there. To you know be on saying? tour at this time, around this Correct. time. Correct. So what they try to do is get out in front of us and then make it look like they did it first. But the, from the train account show to all these other different shows, that was her creative thought. Now, B is creative. Yeah, he, I'm going to give him his credit. Yeah, yeah, he, like he's creative. The, 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 the entrepreneur spirit in him is his biggest flaw, right? Explain because that. you have to understand people. Right? If you want to be an entrepreneur, there's a couple of different ways to go by it. You can shit on people, which has pretty much been this method, or you can cultivate and develop those relationships or partnerships to inspire people to go harder for you. That's, that's my, my approach. I'm all aligned with people where I can just talk to them to try to motivate them to, to go get it for all of us. Right? Or I can, shit, I can shit on them and say, you know what? Y'all work for me. But okay, so let me ask you this. But they ain't really a boss man. Look at Rose. Rose line everybody up. That's sure, for sure. I'm the biggest boss. I'm gonna line everybody up. Because in this game, there's a lot of talking. You know, people do a a lot lot of talking, but that's the problem. Put people in position. You You, gotta put people in position. Mm -hmm. Going back to what we just talked about. If you start with a group, I understand his mentality is, and I've heard it. I got you know, I, I got shit on the phone that speak to it. You wanna, he said. You wanna uh, 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 um, uh, hire hire slow and fire fast, or uh, hire fast, whatever the fuck he say, bro. Hire slow, hire fast, uh, hire slow, fire fast, is what he said. What does that mean? He wanna vet the people he bringing in, and then fire them when they're not in line with his vision, mm. like. It's crazy that I got a lot of shit. People that was fucking with him over there would just send us stuff we wouldn't even ask for. People we sustain relationships with would say, man, this dude tripping. It's the narcissist in him. 
But so and I ain't see, gonna beat him up on here, but I'm gonna speak my truth. Yeah, because nah. I done seen it all. And and I speak to him tomorrow, so right, he, right. he gonna it he ain't gonna nobody speak. Nobody you can ever really go talk to to say I'm fucked up. What's going on? It's your boy Big Loon right now. If you looked at this clip and you enjoyed it, hit subscribe. Watch the next video. We on the road to 100k subscribers on YouTube. If you're a fan, come to Patreon. We got exclusive videos there, and also the show with just me alone. Salute to the supporters. Verify your customers and know who's your viewers. It's up there podcast. Let's get it. Yo, what up? This Big Loon. This is It's Up There Podcast.